Good girl. Cleo, a champion pedigree border collie, has arrived at the Bondi Referral Hospital Sash, suffering from a mystery condition. She's got a discharge from her nose uh, all the time. She licks her nose all the time and it's, it doesn't look right. One day started doing this horrible coughing, sneezing, like, felt, it sounded like she was drowning in and an asthma attack all at once. And, and it was just like, came out of the blue and was like, oh my goodness, what's going on here? All right. Uh, hopefully it'll be a good visit today, little girl. Do you want to have a look at my phone? I've got some few photos in my phone. <laughs> Proud owners Fiona and Kevin have plenty of brag photos of their national flyball star. Cleo lives for flyball. Uh, it's her whole world. She's obsessed with it. For her not to do flyball, um, oh, it would be really hard for her, really hard. How long has it been going on for? She's only been really bad the last last week or two. Mm. Yeah. OK, and it's definitely getting worse. Yes. Yeah, okay. daily getting, getting worse. All right. Emergency vet Lisa Chimes is now waiting for the results of blood tests taken earlier in the week. So what I'm doing now is I'll just check if she's got air flowing through that nostril. So it's a pretty simple test. Yeah. And that's good. She's got air flow going through both nostrils. So that's one good sign. Could be something as simple as a foreign body, like a grass seed that's in there, we can pull it out, it's problem solved. Uh, but then there's more complicated things like fungal diseases and tumours and things like that. Yeah. Let's wait for those blood results. Yeah. Um, once we get them, that will track us in the right direction where we need to go next. Cleo is everything to us. She's a very, very special little girl. It's just... It's horrible. It's really, really horrible. The Border Collie's test results have just come in. Oh, no. Oh, I was really hoping that it wasn't going to be this. OK. Unfortunately, it shows a very high level of infection called Cryptococcus, which is which is a fungal infection, a very rare fungal infection. Cryptococcus is such a rare disease that on average, Sash only sees two cases a year. It's found in pigeon droppings, it's found in hollowed trees. It, it, a lot of the time we don't actually know where it is. It's an infection that any dog can get. We'll never be able to say that you can prevent an animal from getting it. It's just one of those things that it's bad luck. The next step um, would be to do a CT scan, OK? So what we do with that is we can look at her brain and we can look at how aggressive this infection is. In some rare cases, it can spread to the spinal cord and it can spread really all over the body. And okay. is it fatal? Well, it depends on where it is, OK? Generally, if it's in the nose alone, the chances of recovery are a lot better than if it's been spread to the rest of the body, particularly the brain. We'll get that scan done. Yes, you will. Cleo will now be given a CT scan to find out if the infection has spread. So hopefully everything will be all right. Why Cleo? Why? Yeah, why there. That's, that's right. right. I mean, it could happen to anyone, I suppose. Fiona and Kevin just cannot believe how unlucky they are. And we have no answers. It's just lottery and it's bad luck. All right, we'll give you a little injection now and you go to sleep. Yeah. There you go, Cleo. There you go. All right. So we've got the images loaded, so her CT scan images. So I'm walking Kevin and Fiona through to show them the scans. Uh, it's just something that's going to be really difficult. Here we can see that the fungus has invaded all the way up her nose to her sinus and now has entered her brain as well. Well, knowing that it's in her brain, is there going to be any effects that, that we're going to well, notice? Without treatment, it will get worse, and oh, yeah. eventually it will affect the rest of her brain and, and cause neurological problems. It's a lot of unknown. So do you but think it's, it's, it's curable, or will we be able to fix it? I think we have a good chance of fixing it because we've got it early, but there is a chance that she will die from this. And, um, you know, the best thing we can do is start treatment straight away. So what we'll do is Cleo will go on medication for several months 
and then we're going to be monitoring her with blood tests and it's the next blood test that's going to be really vital. It's really quite unbelievable how she can pick up such a, a, a weird thing just from sniffing the ground, like all dogs sniff the ground. <sighs> really scared, really scared. I just don't want to lose her. Don't, don't want to lose her. Well, yeah, come on, let's go. Good girl. OK, so we've got the medication. I'm really, really hoping that this is all it takes, OK? I really, really hope that what's in this bottle is going to be the reason that Cleo gets better, because if it doesn't work, she's going to have to have more invasive treatment and there's a chance she may not survive. She's quite good with taking the medicine there. It's been three weeks since Cleo was diagnosed with the rare and dangerous fungal infection, Cryptococcus. It started in the nose and spread to her brain. Very good at waiting now, aren't you? No, um, your favourite time of the day. There you go, good cow. Every day, good Kevin girl. and Fiona hope this medicine is winning the war. A couple of weeks after we started giving her the medicine, she went and got a ball and dropped it at my feet. And I, I literally burst into tears because she hadn't done that for such a long time. It's just, she's doing really well. We're very happy, very hopeful. You go on, look at that pass. That was a zero pass. And we won. That's awesome. The Border Collie is now allowed to do limited exercise, but can no longer compete in her beloved fly ball. Is that good fly ball dog? We'll get there. Hey, we'll get there. Cleo's medical bills are already more than $4,000. Our firewall club, we were really blown away by it. They have decided to run a um, extra competition in the year. They have said the funds that they raise from that will go towards Cleo's um, further treatment. I'm getting emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> Very humbled, very grateful, slightly embarrassed. About the whole thing. <laughs> yes. While Kevin and Fiona's other two pets, Kaya and Selena, will be competing, Cleo will have to stay home to stop her getting overexcited. We sort of have to remind ourselves that no, she's not actually better. We, we need to find out what the blood test says and find out apprehensive about it, but yes. really hopeful. <laughs> yeah. Happy to be back here. Yeah, you are happy to be back here. Fiona and Kevin are back at Sash for Cleo's all important blood test. Oh, there we go. They're hoping several weeks of oral medication will have helped the Border Collie defeat the Cryptococcus disease. Nothing to stress about. You'll be good. Good girl. Hello. How are you? And how are you? How are you doing, pretty girl? Kevin and Fiona have been counting down the days until today. They've been treating her, following all our instructions, but today is the day we take blood from Cleo, we send it to the lab, and we hope like hell that it's a positive result. And there's no discharge or anything from the nose? The nose no. is clear? No, we haven't had any wheezing or... Nothing? Or, or that horrible breathing that she was doing for well, a couple of weeks now. We, it's, oh, it's, yeah, quite a while. Yeah. Even though Cleo's looking good on the outside, the exterior of her is not really reflective of what's going on inside. That's good, Cleo. Good girl. Good girl. Cleo's fate is really in this tube. If the levels have gone down, then it's great. She can stay on the medication she's on. But if the levels are the same or higher, her battle's just begun. <laughs> were you a big break girl? I'm sure you were. Yeah, I'm sure you were. Even though Cleo's looking so good, I know that she's got disease in her brain. I just don't want to get my hopes up. That's it. Here we go. Good girl. Hello. It's the day Fiona and Kevin have been waiting for. The results of Cleo's blood tests will finally tell them whether they're winning the battle to save Cleo from the horrible disease Cryptococcus. We're expecting it to be good news. Hoping. Hoping to be good news, yeah. Well, I'm not going to keep you waiting any longer. Um, unfortunately, the result is the same. Okay. That's really... Are you sure? It's hard to take. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. 
I really wasn't expecting that. No. No, that really came from left field. We had fairly well convinced ourselves that it would be a positive result. It's honestly one of the hardest pieces of information I've had to give out. They were absolutely shattered. Let me just see. Yeah. Yes. It's not what no. we were hoping for. <laughs> no. No, um, <laughs> but, you know, with it being so rare, we couldn't look into the future and predict what was going to happen. But well, I mean, to look at her, you'd say she was 100% healthy. But we know it's otherwise. We'll find a way through, we always do. Hey, little girl. So we have a couple of options now. Option one would be to increase the dose of the fluconazole that she's been on and see if we get an improvement. Yeah. Or to just cut our losses and start her on intravenous infusion. You can kind of think of it like a, a human going to get a chemo treatment, but the biggest risk with it is that it can be toxic to the kidneys. It's an unenviable decision for Fiona and Kevin. There are no guarantees with either treatment. I'm really sorry. <laughs> oh. We were really hoping that we wouldn't have to even think about having to do the next step, but it looks like now we do have to think about it, so... Now, Cleo, you look after Mum and Dad. That's what you need to do. They've been looking after you, but I think it's your turn to look after them for the next few days. Hey, Miss? We haven't lost the battle yet, no. OK? So we, we're not giving up. We're just... We have other options, yeah. OK? It's just unfortunate and I'm disappointed and I'm sorry. It's really difficult saying goodbye to Kevin and Fiona. They've got to go home now and have a long, hard think about what they're going to do next. I've given them all the treatment options. They know there's no guarantees, and the next step is up to them. Here we go! As for Cleo, three months later, look who's back in the flyball ring. <laughs> Yay, good job. I didn't actually think we'd get back here. Ready, go! We're very, very happy to have her back racing and yeah, it's all very exciting. She's just so happy. No being left behind today. No. Fiona and Kevin decided to take the option of doubling Cleo's medication. Good girl. And the champion has showed an amazing improvement. Cleo! We've decided not to go ahead with the next level of the treatment, the intravenous drugs, mainly because it's just such a big ass to put her through. <laughs> Play. It's three days a week taking her to the vets, leaving her there, and there's no guarantees that that'll change anything anyway. Come on, Cleo, come on! The medication hasn't cured Cleo of cryptococcus, but for now the disease is under control. Definitely happy with the decision. She's looking fantastic, so that's you know, pretty much all we can hope for. <laughs> come on, we're going to do it all again! I'm just so happy that Cleo is back in the flyball ring doing what she loves. I don't know what the future holds, but what really matters is that right now Cleo is happy. And that's all that counts. Yeah, clever little girl. Hey, good girl. Thank you. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way.